I forgot how big you are now. Oh my gosh, look at her, you guys. Our little Maggie has indeed grown up. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and get another picture of her. Maggie. Yep, I hope I'm getting these pictures. We'll have to see. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. I really thought she was going to be a puppy forever, but sure enough, even though we have so much to do to help people to really rejuvenate their homes and add even more fantastic greenery into their lives, uh, Maggie is no longer, oh, look at her jump. <laughs> All right, she is definitely no longer a puppy. And now we can go ahead and we can actually play fetch with her. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. She's so good at fetching, especially because I'm not really throwing the, the frisbees or the balls very far, uh, which is quite fun. All right, Maggie, Maggie. All right, can I toss it? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Good job, Maggie. Oh, you guys, I cannot wait to go ahead and add in even more rescue animals. We not only have a Maggie, but we also are over here with our brand new bird. Hello, my dear. We have rescued our parrot. We have our egg-eating snake. I think we're turning this into a fantastic animal sanctuary, and now I know where the future needs to be. We are going to continue to work hard. Maggie, I really need to cut the grass, don't I? <laughs> We're going to continue to work hard to really make this place thrive and then build up more and more animal sanctuaries. And I love the idea of bringing like renewable green architecture full of plants into people's lives. That is going to be our goal. That is what our company of two, Maggie, you definitely count, happens to be founded on is trying to make this world a better place through plants. Yes, very on brand, I'd say. Very on brand. But all right, so welcome back to House Flipper with the Pets DLC, my friends, where today, because we finished taking care of our newest adopted animal, and I am so freaking proud, by the way, of how gorgeous this amazing tropical setting looks. Like, this is so pretty. <laughs> But now that we have gone ahead and we have actually taken care of this, it is time to go and help out our next client so that we can actually take care of whatever animal-centric needs they have. So let's fight our way through all of the ferns, try not to trip over like everything I need to replace. <gasps> That's right! And you guys have been so amazing in sending in more fantastic fan art that we are absolutely going to be adding in. I have a fan art email that you can actually send things to or you can tag me on instagram and it's mail for siri s-e-r-i at gmail.com uh, and i'm going to be like i haven't really been able to use it for a long time it's kind of just been an archive account but we're going to be clearing it out and adding up <gasps> we could buy a house to make a gallery oh my gosh okay i'm getting increasingly excited but let's focus on going ahead and doing our next job so let's see we've completed the animal caretaker Excellent, excellent. So where is our next job? More freedom. Hello. Frida is, considering, is considered a writing prodigy. After just a couple months of hard work, she published her first book, and it turned out to be an instant success. Unfortunately, the rapid rise of the latter as a writer turned out to be quite a stressful situation for an introvert like her. Now she desperately needs a piece where she and her lovely iguana can find more, uh, a place where she and her lovely iguana can find more peace. Oh, okay, so we can help out Frida which I think sounds great. And then there's also a chance to change right down the street. A hyperactive dog, neighbor's cat, and a pair of imaginative siblings. These are the ingredients for disaster, especially if the kids are testing their new invention in their parents' bedroom. All doors in the house are open and the cat has just decided to tease the dog and start their daily race. Long story short, no one got hurt. The bedroom is completely burned. <laughs> <laughs> and renovation is inevitable. Oh my gosh. Okay. As much as we're going to help out Frida and have a fun time chatting about books with her, I think we need to go ahead and help someone whose cat and dog literally just started a fire in their house. Yep. That sure as heck looks like they had a fire in the house. <laughs> wow. That would be a little bit of chaos. And I'm also like, this family has a very creative set of kids. How did it happen? The answer is Yuri, Silka, and their brilliant ideas. Add our dog chasing neighbors get to that, and the result is obvious. The boom was so loud, the firefighters were on their way before I even called them. 
You know what my husband said? Hanička, maybe it's an opportunity for a change. Okay, let's start with his storeroom then. Our kids live on top of one another because he has to hoard this garbage. They are growing up. <laughs> they need privacy and their own space. Maybe this will calm them down a bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, well, it seems we're definitely going to need to help out here. Maggie, good girl. I love how she has her little hat still. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Maybe we can adopt the neighbor's cat after all this is done. <gasps> we're totally going to be doing that, you guys. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of cleaning that needs to happen uh, now that I'm actually looking because no doubt let's see where's my my cleaning tools i need to clean no i don't want to i don't want to pick things up i want to scrub uh hold and switch to garden hose okay so we're gonna spray this place down i think yeah there we go and then we're gonna mop this <laughs> oh so all the firefighters were coming in and out of their house to try to make things clean we're totally going to go ahead and adopt the neighbor's cat that like was involved in all of this chaos uh because we'll say it was a stray cat because why not maggie good girl can i can i yeah you want to play you want to play in the water yeah yeah no okay that's fine we got a job to do i respect that <laughs> and we have a job to do armed with the broom look at us we're already ready for this all right so let's survey the damage pretty quickly it looks like there's a lot of fire damage in here that Oh, no, 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 it actually cleared up. I thought there was going to be fire damage in here, but that actually isn't so bad. Um, there's something. Do we want to leave the garage alone? We do want to leave the garage alone. Yeah, it looked like there was smoke and dust in the corners, but it's actually okay. Uh, there is something over here that's messy, though. So we're going to have to figure out... Oh, it's up the stairs. <laughs> so the stairs are actually wrecked. I see. I see. I would really change like so much about ooh hello ooh somebody is a like hard worker in here I wonder this must be her office <laughs> that's so cool so she's got a really tidy and organized office and then we've got a bathroom that's been well tended to open all the windows because I like making the place nice and bright can I open this window let me add it yes yes bring all the light into the house uh and then so this is the storeroom with all of the old junk that definitely would be better served as a children's bedroom for sure in my humble opinion don't know about that sofa i feel like that sofa yeah that sofa is gonna go oh they've got beautiful mountains what a view we definitely need to make it so they can appreciate that more um wow this is terrifying was this supposed to be one of the kids' rooms or was this the parents' bedroom? So here's the kids' room. Is this where the parents like slept? Their whole window is like destroyed. Wow. All right. Maggie, do you want to go ahead and pose? Pose for the thumbnail? Things are a little chaotic over here. Just like let the cat, I guess the cat in the chaos. All right, but now that we've done that, let's get to work. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to scrub this place clean first off. I love cleaning all of these pieces. I'm trying to think, have my siblings ever ha set the house on fire? The answer is actually yes. Upon reflection, my little brother, uh, Sky, did end up setting the house on fire once because he was so freaking sweet and he was helping us out with trying to make dinner. And so he thought, and he was very young, I think he was maybe like four or five, but he really wanted to help out with making dinner. And so one day he actually got the rice cooker. So like the actual whole metal rice cooker and it already had some old rice in it. So he thought he would go ahead and heat it up so that we could have uh, dinner and he could help out with making dinner. So Sky put the rice cooker in the, oven, or in, the in the microwave keep in mind this is a large metal device that he put into the microwave and uh it did end up catching the microwave on fire which is not ideal to say the least all right let's see oh we get to sell this thing 
However, I like never got upset. The firefighters had to come, that microwave and the rice cooker like had melted. <laughs> that was definitely not something that was supposed to happen. I think the kitchen had a little bit of fire damage, but honestly it wasn't terrible. Okay, we've taken care of here. We're gonna start selling some stuff in the kids' room apparently. But honestly, it wasn't like this. <laughs> it wasn't nearly this like damaging and alarming and not great. Uh, it just was, there we go. And then we gotta change this window out. Oh my gosh. It just, we, we really were lucky because it was just a few things. All right. And I think like the counter got a little bit burned, but you know, you think like you'd be upset about it, but I have just never forgotten how touched I was that he at least tried to help us out even though he was so little. So I'm glad I can remember that with fondness. Wow, this place is really wrecked. <laughs> Maggie, I don't know if you should be in here, my dear. Let's change the window out. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And then I guess we need to scrub the worst of the damage away. All right, Maggie, watch out. We definitely need to change quite a bit in this room. Oh, that looks ominous. I hope that's not blood. It is not. It is just some sort of periphery. All right, this is, you know what? When we came in here and it was like, by the way, this place is very, very um, like wrecked and burned. I actually was kind of worried like it was gonna be super hard to clean up, but somehow this is really motivating me as weird as that sounds. Cause it's like, oh, if things can look this bad, but then it just takes, you know, a little wire here, a little finicking there. Oh, this is actually really calming me down. I mean, come on, think about it, Mackie girl. If you walk into your life and you're like, okay, it's literally like a, a, a fire has come in and destroyed everything about my life. What are you gonna do? I mean, you're not really gonna be served by just leaving everything to be burned and charred. You definitely deserve a moment to have maybe a sit, a cry, a deep sigh, a cookie. But I, I've always found, and maybe this is just because my life has often been <laughs> ridiculously chaotic. Um, bless my family, but they are indeed chaos. All right, let's get some white paint so that we can start really, let's see. So I want paint and I want white paint. So that's the walls, I think, there we go. White paint. There we are. Let's get a big one. But my family, ha I, I love them so much, but have often been a lot of chaos to love. Uh, and it's often been very, very messy. <laughs> oh, but I mean, look at this. Rather than focusing on the chaos, there is something so much more immensely empowering of uh, kind of assessing how messy everything is and then seeing what you can change. And being able to see visible change like this, I think is super healing. Wow, look at that, we've already taken care of the ceiling. I thought we would need like a much bigger bucket of paint, which is why I got such a large one. But now we can actually come in and we're going to paint the walls. I'm going to keep that bucket of paint just in case we need it for other ceilings. And then let's start painting. There we go. I think that's why I've always actually loved cleaning up messes, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> I've always adored being able to come in and to look at a situation and instead of panicking, I mean, when I was little, of course, I think I would have panicked. I definitely panicked when my brother like lit the house on fire. Cause at first you're like, oh no, we're all in trouble. Are we gonna die? I've never seen a firefighter in person before. Like they've never come to my house before. Are we in trouble? But after you get over that, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was an event, but I, I just think we're so much better off to kind of like assess the damage, assess the chaos, and then do what you can to try to, to make 
everything a little nicer. That's why I've always been enchanted with things like Sturdy Valley, and that's why I'm actually finding this to be such a wonderful experience, especially with our lovely Maggie just happily kind of panting over here. All right, Maggie, we actually need a lot more pink mist than I thought. So just in case, we're gonna get a big old bucket. And I love the idea of trying to get a cat. And you know, actually, speaking of cats, that's another great place I learned to kind of focus on what you could do is volunteering at so many cat shelters over the years. There's always gonna be a need for more volunteers. There's always going to be like so much to clean. If you ever really wanna just enjoy cleaning up messes, volunteer at like an animal shelter because there's always going to be something that needs scrubbed, something that needs sanitized, like bowls that need refilled. But if you want to feel like what you're doing it makes a difference, sometimes being in places like that where you just need to keep yourself pretty occupied is really nice. All right, we're going to sell this door. I'm going to sell these. Look at how we're coming. And now we're going to lay down some new floor. Maggie, we're doing good. I just need to make sure. Let's see, tasks. I always forget I can just come right over here and get things easier. All right, hang in there, Maggie. And look at that, guys. Oh, see? Everything was on fire. We've already like gotten so far on fixing it. That's amazing. Let's go ahead and replace the door. <laughs> All right, let's see. New door, just like that. Oh my gosh. It looks fantastic. I'm so proud of us. And then we'll just carry on. Like, these people know what they want. Let's give them light, bright, happy colors. I'm trying to go for no boring colors, but you never know. Ooh, actually, those cream and like rose gold. Nice. Those are really fun. All right. And we'll put this maybe over here so it can reflect the window and bring in a lot of nice light on that side. We can always move things around if needed. And I'm very excited about the idea of adopting the neighbor's cat when we're all done. Oh, and feeling a lot calmer, a lot better. Because <laughs> things do feel a little chaotic sometimes. Let's see, do I like this one? Eh, why not? And there we go. All right, this, this is actually going to be the bedroom it seems because we are indeed putting the double bed in here it's very nice we'll have some pretty colors uh maybe blue in here i'm not gonna lie we're going green <laughs> like you just need to be prepared for these things if that is indeed if you hire me that's just the way that things are gonna go maggie maggie my dear <laughs> come over here <laughs> Thank you, my love. All right, we're almost there, you guys. We've almost finished this room. Yay! And then we're going to find where the cat is hiding and adopt the cat. There. And apparently somebody wants a picture of their puppy. <laughs> okay, that's a huge picture. You know what? We love... We love our, our puppy, Milo. We love Milo. So Milo's going to have a huge picture. Also, I am totally here for these plant pots. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I want two of them. Uh, but I think that they want some bedside cabinets. So, oh yeah, we can, oh yeah. Can I put, oh, I can put another plant in here. <laughs> Look, you know what you're getting into if you hire me as somebody to help you out. Though that does beg the question of, I wonder what we should call our company greener ways maybe it feels kind of boring though it feels like we should have a bit more of a a dramatic name let's see and then no boring colors but let's add some variety to this place lovely oh and then a furry carpet I feel like these people should have books. <gasps> Maybe that's what we'll do. Like at our own cost, we shall leave a complimentary book about like plants 
And they want two of these long furry carpets, huh? I wonder what caught fire in the house. Like, for instance, Chips and I are very careful. Like, he, my beloved husband is great at like researching if appliances are, have a reputation for catching on fire. <laughs> so, oh, what is this? Oh man, the radiator says something. Can I hide this behind something? Cause it's kind of, you know what? You just gotta live with it, huh? And then we need the tall radiator. It actually looks, oh. So is that how that works? Okay, let's see. It's so fascinating to me to do these radiator things because I don't live in a country that uses them. <gasps> We've done it, you guys! All right! Look at this room! This is a really nice room and Maggie is now posing. We have fixed the chaos that was the fire that destroyed here. And now we have opened the way to start transforming these kids' childhood. I mean, I have to be honest, there's probably no better way to launch yourself out of childhood than burning your childhood room down <laughs> and needing to have everything changed for you. So it, it, it's very effective at making it so that there's going to be a new kind of environment for you. Uh, meanwhile, before we go, I've got to add in a couple more plants. I can't just like, this, this is not optional. I need, I need at least a few plants in here. Can I, can I sneak this over here? What about, aha! Thought you could get away with me being here in your house without plants, did you? Not the case. And actually, if I had to choose any book to go ahead and leave with somebody right now, it would probably be Birdway by Jennifer Ackerman, who Ackerman, who is one of my favorite nonfiction authors, and it has so many amazing bird facts in it. So I'm just gonna imagine I have left that as a complimentary gift, and this is quite lovely, and I'm pleased with it. All right. But this is where we're really gonna roll up our sleeves. Cause me, me being put in charge of a kid's bedroom, you can bet this is going to become a really fun and exciting place full of imagination and lots of toys. So we'll work on that next time and then find the cat. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys could do please leave a like for Maggie and if you have any stories about when things have literally or figuratively burned down but you have figured out the way forward, I'd love to hear them. But until next time guys, stay curious.